people don't reach 70. Yeah, that's a fact. Uh, so you are now telling everybody that you are 70? Yes. <laughs> Hello everyone! So today, it's my husband's birthday. He doesn't want to, want to have a celebration but I still cook for para sa aming dalawa lang. Kasi dalawa lang naman kami. May inimitahan sana kami kaso lang, syempre, uh, pagod. So hindi nakarating. Ay hindi pala pupunta. At saka biglaan kasi yung pagkaimbita. Kasi biglaan po yung pagkaisip ko na mag handa po para sa kanyang birthday. So, syempre, ayan, magmukbang kami ngayon at meron akong gagawin ngayon sa kanya na hindi niya alam. Kasi sabi ko sa kanya, mag-ano lang tayo, mag-usap lang tayo. Ito lang po si Foods. Gumawa rin ako ng kaunting uh, sushi. Paborito niyang asparagus. Experiment. At nag-experiment po ako ng aking chicken. Ayan, yung chan na ano, kasi... Binalat ko sana parang pumasok yung sauce. Ayan na, biya. Kaya, ayan, pagpasensyahan nyo na. At syempre, meron akong pampano. Meron kaming wine. At syempre, nag-bake ako ng cake. Ayan. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay guys, so my husband really don't want to celebrate his birthday but I insist and it's a last two minutes. Last two minutes shopping. It's not that I didn't want to celebrate it, say that I didn't want to what? necessarily celebrate it the way you want to. Yeah, so that's it. So that is how I'm different. So in a way, since we've been together, this is his first birthday celebration. <laughs> and I want to thank him for everything. You know guys, uh, we've been together mm -hmm. for... It's yummy? Mm -hmm. mm, or uh, not yummy or yummy? Yeah. Because you said... Mm. Very good. Oh, that's great. Yeah, sushi is excellent. Yeah, okay. We've been together for nine years already. Almost more than three years of chatting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're almost six years of marriage. Is that correct? Something like that. Huh? <laughs> See, he's not happy of what I'm doing. Mm, yes, I am. Ah. Well, it's wonderful. Mm, very good too. Oh, see? And then, honey, you need to um, hmm. uh, taste that because... How do we carve it? No. There. Because I invented the uh, <laughs> recipe. <laughs> yeah. Or the seasoning. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, guys. Uh, when I met him, I was... Um, I just come out from my work. So, and then, New Year, he sent me money. <laughs> He sent me money. You know, she was praying for God to send her money. <laughs> her little buddy there, the pastor. <laughs> but since God didn't come through, I had to help her. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. So anyway. Well, anyway, don't don't get me wrong, guys, of what I am uh, talking right now. I am trying to speak English because obviously I want my husband to understand what I what I am talking about. Not only that, she has to pass the GED, and that requires English. <laughs> okay, so in a way, uh, when we were chatting, he really support me uh, from day one, from day one, and then. Every other day, I have 15,000 pesos. Is it? I spend a lot of money, but yeah. So, he don't yeah. remember I, just, I just know it was enough to get, give, live a good life. Yeah, so right. anyway, um, he uh, really support me from day one. And uh, he gave me a chance to learn how to drive. He bought me a car. And he buy me a house. And... He buy me a, a, a piano. <laughs> he buy me a piano. He hire a uh, vocal person. coach. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wish I had done all that here in America. 
Yeah, so but anyway, there are so, ma so many regrets of what he did there in the Philippines, but you know, it's happened already. I found, when I when I apply as a uh, housekeeping there in casino, I feel, he felt like I convinced you for a long time. Well, I, I, I knew that, you know, you had to take a blue collar job because you didn't have your high school degree. Mm -hmm. So it was fine. It was, a, it was a chance to go out and a step towards growing up as an adult, mm -hmm. working as part of it. So. And then... We didn't have a what it looks like. Good. Especially when it's dipped in this. But wow. it's, it, it's good otherwise really. It's actually excellent. Mm. My <laughs> my invention worked. So anyway. And then after two years. Yeah. Or I think he just explored the best doctor or the best hospital and then uh, he also explored about the work. Then he found a job for me you know and i feel like i don't really want to move because i like the the first job that i have because you know it's some kind that they all like me there that is what i feel okay so he convinced me almost two months before i transfer here and i i, I really have a good uh, income here it just happened there's something happened <laughs> and he really wants me to go to school and he really wants me to get a hmm. high school diploma for me to, to have a chance to work or opportunity to work, a well, good work almost every business requires a high school education here at least yeah bare minimum in canada you have to have high school education to even immigrate there so mm -hmm. it's just the bare minimum requirement and, it, and you need it in order to mature and grow up as an adult you can't do without it so Excuse me. He grew up. I he born. He is he born in Ontario, Canada. So I think he has a plan to move there. And if he will move there, I will be staying here because I don't have a diploma. Because they require a high school diploma there. I'm correct. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So in a way, this is the chance that I will really thank my husband because he feels like that I'm not thankful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not thankful of what he did to me. I am very, very thankful. It just happens sometimes. I am a little bit, you know. So. Well, you couldn't grow up and be an adult with a third grade education and not having parents. Not possible. Mm -hmm. Takes time and effort. Yeah. And when we, when he is supporting me, I think for a year become like my my monthly support like i don't remember how much it was i just I, I, I know it was more than adequate to have a good life he don't remember but i remember but it's like almost three thousand dollars a month so and yeah i have a good life i already have a good life but i don't know it's an, it's not it seems like that i never uh, feel that I have a good life. You because... weren't mature enough to appreciate it. Yeah, That's see? <laughs> and the people around you weren't either, so. Yeah, see? This, because yes, <laughs> because yesterday I, I take my uh, exam. What is that? Your GED. Yeah. And I did not pass. But you came close. <laughs> came very so, close. To be honest, <laughs> you're supposed to be the one who cry, not me. <laughs> okay. I don't cry when you're 70 years old. <laughs> There's probably, probably a good reason for crying when you hit 70. You probably, you probably should cry. So guys, in a way, the reason why they really hate me every time that I said that my husband really saved me from the dead. That is really true. <laughs> there. Because it's all right, <laughs> when I, I worked very early as uh, as early as nine years old. We don't have a daddy. Our mom have another relationship that is I feel like that 
we become abandoned, especially me and my younger sister. And I need to work to eat or I need to work to live. That is what I am thinking before. I did not go to school because I need to work. Actually, I am very, very sickly. I am very, very sickly. I always get sick, but I, I just, you know, even I am so sick, I feel like I, am, I just pretend that I don't have, I'm not sick because uh, I need to work because I don't want to get fired. So that is why I just keep on working even I am so sickly. So that is why maybe my condition is like this right now. When my husband found me, I, I am very sick that time. And the money really that he sent me, I really use it for my health. You know, not all, but most of the money that he sent me. <laughs> Should I come? Yeah. You know, I was happy to pay for your operation. No, but before that, before that, before that. So in a way, before that, that is uh, the money really that he sent me. I really use that most of them for my health condition. And then, after two years of our chatting, I need to be I uh, I need to have surgery again because my tummy become big, and then I have a sixteen cm cyst. Of, he was the one who paid the whole thing you know it's uh 100,000 more than 100,000 he was the one who pay everything now that we are here uh when after we get here he is slowly fixed me if if i am a car <laughs> if i am a car it's like uh i am a what is that he is trying to you're, you're like an old clunker <laughs> yeah so in a way guys so that is my a little bit story of my you know and then i am very very thankful because he found me so the people around me before so this is also i hope they will not really get mad at me anyway. they don't really understand if i cannot send them money or if i cannot give them money anymore because obviously they're greedy <laughs> let's face it yeah, obviously it's like he tried his best to fix me my health, my health wise, he really tried to fix me every now and then. Uh, we are in the doctor. Yeah, I mean, you had a lot of medical work to do, but obviously yeah. you couldn't pay for without an, an income. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty simple. And I don't have work. I really rely on him in everything. I have just so much pain, actually, because, you know, people uh, put it this way, mga kapatid. Uh, I never felt I never felt love before until he <laughs> until he come. He was the one who showed me love. He was the one who take good care of me, and he was the one who understand me. Even I don't start. <laughs> Even I am uh, most of the time not good to him. He is very nice. He is very kind. He just understand, and then he was the one who always motivate me support me every time that's some kind that i want to give up you know sometimes i i get hurt because of my family there in the philippines that i feel i never felt that they really love me uh, i just really want to thank him i just want him to know how much i thank him you know, how oh, appreciate it by him. yeah how i really appreciate you know i really appreciate him so much you know it's like you know, he is the he is the only person that really loved me. Anyway, so yeah, so that is why I am I. He did not know that I am doing uh, what I am doing right now. I just told him that you know let's just talk. You know, we just need to. He said that you will cook all of this and then who will eat? I said this is our food for two weeks. <laughs> so this is our right. food for two weeks. Yeah. Wow, you have a lot of food. So that that's it guys. So I, I just want I am just really want everybody knows that I am very lucky to have a husband. Because obviously <laughs> I told him good thing that he gets sick. <laughs> because if he did not get sick, I'm not married. Yeah. So honey, what are you going to say? Um the food is excellent. Uh, <laughs> thank you, sweetheart, for the wonderful birthday dinner. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, but wow, there's a lot. Uh-huh. We so, could feed a whole army here. I did not even touch this yet. My fish is not touched yeah. yet. Yeah, the sushi is my favorite, so of course eat that first. But then yeah. by the time you eat that, you're full. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah.
So that's it guys. I'm sorry. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.